Hello and welcome to this video on how to draw demand zones using Japanese candlestick price chart. So let's get into it. The HHHL principle, which stands for higher, high, higher, low. And if you're not too sure on what that means, what you need to do is go to my YouTube channel and look for a video on uh, called, called sorry why supply and demand trading is the genesis of all technical strategies and I pretty much break down why um, the higher high higher low principle is really the foundation of all um, uh, supply and demand strategies but when it comes to drawing it on a uh, on a price chart drawing demand on a price chart what we need to do is follow some simple rules so first of all we need to for prices to create a high. Yeah, so it needs a new high, could be two candles. And then what we want is for there to be a swing low and the bearish or bullish candle wick low. So what we're looking for is some sort of bearish candle, yeah, and the potential wick like that. And then we're looking for a new high. So a bullish candlestick wick or close high. Yeah. So the next candle has to either close above the previous candle or it has to create a wick and it has to close bullish. Yeah. So a bullish candlestick. So it can, can close like that. Yeah. And what we're doing is drawing the demand zone from the last bearish candles open price to the swing low. So again, the demand zone goes from the, bear, the last bearish candles open price, which is up top here, to the swing low. Yeah, and that is going to be where we will be drawing demand. Right. So this is demand. This whole zone is demand. And why is that demand? Again, higher highs, higher lows. If we're looking at this move up, and then we get. A move down like that and then we get a move higher the higher high higher low principle and this can take the form of um, many different obviously you're going to see it on a price chart and we'll go over it on the uh, pound dollar um, a live chart we'll go over maybe like a year's worth of, uh, of data and uh, what you'll see is is, is basically uh, different iterations of this. So let's say, for example, we have something like this, where you get a candle, a couple of candles, and let's say, for example, you get you know two candles, one there, and one there, and then you may get a candle, bullish candle that does something like this, or you can get couple of candles that do something like this and as long as we create a new high yeah we have to draw the demand zone from the last bearish candle which is the last bearish candle yeah before prices make a new high because again this becomes a high a low and then a new high yeah higher highs higher lows and then the demand zone is drawn from the last bearish candle before prices make a new high. Yeah, wherever this wick is. So this wick could be, for example, and let's search all this again. So the wick could be from around here. So let's say we have a couple of candles that pull back. And let's say, for example, the wick is here, and then we get let's say a bullish candle that creates a new high, and we draw a demand zone from the last bearish candle before prices make a new high. So it's got to be from here to the swing low. Yeah. Now, if, for example, the swing low was a bullish candle so let's say we had something like this this move down move down and let's say we had something like this where we had bullish candle 
the bullish candle and this was the swing low then again the last bearish candle is from there to there if this swing let's say for example was there because what you're looking for is higher highs higher highs and higher lows so that here yeah and that would be where the lowest uh, the higher low is I should say and then you've got a move up here once prices make a new high and remember this 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 candlestick here can also look like this so let's draw this because it can be a wick high as well so let's say we get move down move down and then we get a candlestick sorry a candlestick should be a green candle let's say for example something like that that's fine too because it's still creating a new high move up move down and it's got a close bullish yeah so a bullish candle that creates a new high whether it's a wick or a close and obviously wherever the lowest low on this swing would be yeah so those are the rules for demand for, for drawing demand zones yeah as long as you follow this and keep that in mind then you should be fine and another caveat to this is going to be um, hidden demand and hidden demand is an outside candle so if we are following the rules of the higher high high low principle what we want to do is understand that an outside candle and you might not know what an outside candle is but an outside candle is something like this where let's say for example you have a candlestick where the wick low goes below the previous candles low price yeah so this goes below that yeah way below that it's a bit wonky but you know what I mean and then it closes above now this is what was known as hidden demand why is this hidden demand because when this candle was being formed there was a lot of supply in there yeah so let's look at the higher high higher low principle again we've got a move up and then this wick actually represents a move lower because at some point during this candles life and formation yeah this was the swing low and then what you had was a move higher is here so this represents higher highs and higher lows so we draw the demand zone from the candles open price from the outside candle open price to the swing low and this whole area here is what is considered hidden demand yeah because because previously we were looking for bearish candles the last bearish candle before price made the new high but you don't get it on this one but in reality it's making the higher high higher low principle so what we're going to do is we're going to go into a price chart pound dollar as recommended by uh, somebody who did uh, watch the last video and I asked for any uh, chart suggestions and they suggested that um, I do the pound dollar so I'm going to look at the pound dollar and go through at least maybe six months to a year's worth of data so what we're going to do is we're going to look at the pound dollar and we're going to go back to January you know beginning of the year 2017 and start looking for demand zones and by the way this isn't um uh, back testing demand zones because we don't know 
what was going on fundamentally and sentiment wise at any given point Fund, uh, supply and demand is driven by the fundamentals and value so um, there are going to be times where we shouldn't have been buying at demand zones and we should have been selling at supply or vice versa so this is more about just drawing demand zones don't focus on whether the demand zone worked or not yeah so first of all what we need to do is understand and draw higher highs higher lows so demand started from here yeah there and then we had a bit of a pullback yeah as displayed by this bearish candle and then what we want to see is price break above the high or a wick above the high so it has to close above that high there or a bullish candle wick right bullish candle close wick above that for that to qualify as a higher high yeah so let's go forward and we do so once we get that we draw the demand zone from the last bearish candles open price to wherever the swing low was and the swing low looks like it was this candlestick here because that is the higher high higher low principle and again just to start from the higher high higher low principle this is the last bearish candle yeah from here so we can draw it from there and start to go higher so what we want to do is keep going forward we get a pullback and then move up so again just to draw it out pull back then the move higher so then that becomes last bearish candle before price to make a new high right there then we go forth we start to pull back now until price breaks above and the wick above this high or closes above this high and a, and a bullish candle wick high or a bullish candle close above that level we don't draw any demand zones so we do get a candlestick wick and a bullish candlestick close there but the wick goes above Above it so that qualifies this as a swing there and then there so what we can do is we can draw a zone around from there to there yeah now is this going to be a strong level of demand is this area going to be a strong level of demand um, maybe maybe not but what we need to do is wait for proof of value so we need to price to really kind of start to move a lot higher like this before this now starts to become a stronger area of demand because we need to wait for proof that buyers are still buying up at these prices before coming back down proving that this was a strong area of demand in the same way that this area looks like to be a strong area of demand depending on obviously the fundamentals and sentiment now what happens going forward is we get a bit of a spike up bearish candle move back down and then we get a bit of a reaction to this zone here this one here oops sorry here we go oh it's not allowing me to do it i'll delete that and delete that into this zone here and what we want to see is higher highs higher lows again so what we're looking for is move you get pull back so you've got a bit of a swing move higher pull back and let's see if we get a bullish move above that or a wick nope we don't we just continue to make this kind of choppy price movement in between where this move and that swing there and we're not focused on necessarily lower highs and lower lows we're looking for higher lows and higher highs yeah so we get a bit of a move here where we have move up and the lowest swing is going to be here and then we get a move up so then we can start to draw our demand from there to there to where the lowest swing is I guess before prices start to make 
new highs, which is going to be around here. So you can see where the swing is there, there, there. So then it's going to be around here is where you're drawing where the lowest swing was. Let's continue going forward. And then we get a break of that. So now we're looking for higher highs, higher lows. Still looking for higher highs, higher lows. We get a bit of a move up. All right. So in this example, what we have is a low here. And we get a move higher. There we go. Higher high, higher low. So we get a spike up. Move down. And then we get a move to the upside. We can now start to draw this as demand. And also what we can draw is this area here as demand because this is the origin of the move origin of the higher high higher low let's keep going forward there we are so prices go higher there get a pullback here and then we get a move higher so there is where we draw our demand zone a bit of a move down so when this when prices start to range like this you get a move like that get a move and now prices are contained between here and here yeah so as we go forward that makes lower lows you can see it there yeah, but what we're focusing on, focusing on is higher highs and higher lows. So we get a bit of a move higher. That looks decent. There we go. So here's our higher high, higher low. So we get a move up, pull back. In fact, if we zoom in a bit, I think this low might have been lower than that. I think it was. And then we get a move higher. Bullish candle close but the wick is higher than this move there. Brilliant. So now we can go back. Let's delete this just for to clear the chart. We've not only got there to the swing, we've got there to that swing low there where the lowest swing was there. So higher highs, higher low principle. And then we get move higher proof of value here we go and as prices start to make that new high there if we pull back we don't make any kind of new highs until a bit of a pullback and then we've got one right there got a mini one within this but I would probably say this was the, this was the swing low <coughs> sorry this was the swing low here All right and as prices start to make new highs here even though that is a bit of a pullback I think this is going to be where the obvious higher high higher low is because this is really where the uh, market high is and once prices went above that that's where you would draw your demand zone from the last bullish candle before prices make a new high. It's right there, really. So let's go forward. Now, until prices go above there, there we are. Start to go above. You can draw demand right here keep going forward so in this situation did prices go above that swing no it did 
didn't go above it it really didn't go above it there so now we're still looking for higher highs and higher lows there we are so that candlestick goes above there I think yep there we are so then we can start to draw from there or down to the lows because this now becomes swing move up move down and then move up so actually it's from here that's where the new swing is there we go and prices now in a situation like this where you have a bearish candle close technically yes prices have made a new high yeah that's a new swing but in my rules I prefer to have a bullish candle close before accepting this as a new high yeah prefer the uh, this to be closed bullish if it's bearish for me although it makes a new high I, I personally don't count that as a new high I want to see bullish um, you know price action I want to see demand here I want to see demand bullish candle close so until we get a bullish candle close or a bullish candle wick above this area here, then I will consider that to be a new high. So we get some movement. We don't get it. We don't get a new new high. So we get to pull back a little bit. So here we go. Right. And here is some hidden demand for uh, the eagle eye amongst you guys so this was an outside candle why is that an outside candle because this closes above the previous candles high and goes below the previous candles low so if we were looking at this from a higher high higher low perspective what we've got is in fact we've got a move up a bit of a move down and then a move higher yeah so this now starts to look like demand there. We still want a bit more proof just to show that there is, this is gonna be a strong area of demand, but I do like this. Now, this isn't necessarily higher, 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 lower. This went lower than the previous low. So with that being said, this is probably gonna be the start of a move and hopefully we can get some more higher highs. There we go. So. We can now see if we if this starts from here. It starts from here. We've got demand that comes up to here. It actually comes all the way up to this high here. We get a bit of a pullback. And then we get there. But with this hidden demand right here, this is where I'm going to be drawing the uh, the demand zone. And we can also draw demand zone from there as well but we can't discount this whole area as an area of demand too so we keep going and then we get a gap that's fine we're looking for higher highs higher lows so we're looking for bullish bearish bullish here we go lovely so we've got the last bullish. I mean, you get a situation like this where the swing low, yeah, you've got a large bearish candlestick here, and then you've got higher lows within that. You can actually still draw that whole area right here as demand as well. Because technically that makes sense. Yeah, this is, remember, the origin of the move started from here. There, there, higher highs, higher lows. It just so happens that the last bearish candle is quite large and it encompasses this move to the upside. So when you get a situation like this, yeah, the last bearish candle before prices start to make new highs and then you've got another one there, you can draw it if it encompasses all of this zone here. Just keep going to the upside. 
So again, until prices make higher highs, higher lows. So pull back and then we kind of make a lower low. There, there we go. So we now make a new high. So overall, you can start to see if we were looking at pullbacks and swings, actually it looks like this, and then we make a new high. So the higher, high, higher, low principle there. Then we make a new close. So now we've got demand. The strongest area of demand is gonna be down here. Let's keep going. So now we need price to go above at least here. So it needs to be a bullish candle wick high or close above that area. Ah, brilliant. So we've got a wick, but a bearish close. So for me, although it's a higher high, to draw this, I'd only be drawing this because if we're looking at this pullback, this actually makes a bit of a higher high within this zone. There and there. Yeah. But as far as this creating a new high, no. I would be drawing this demand zone because we made higher high and higher low within this zone here. So until prices now go above here, this, I can't draw a demand zone until prices go, if prices go above there and they do. And then we can start to draw that there because now this becomes high pull back high like that. Yep, so we had another higher, high, higher low. So price made a new high, pull back, and then made a new wick high, bullish candle close. And that would have been the demand zone right there. As we come back, now we're just looking for higher highs, higher lows. Keep going. Right, so we get a bit of a move up. There we are. There we go. So I hope you guys saw that there. So when prices came up like this and they pulled back, then until prices went beyond that move there, that bullish candle close there, we can draw the demand zone from the last bearish candle open price to the swing low, which is gonna be here. And then we make a new higher, higher, higher low pullback. In fact, it's there. And this is what we call an outside candle, some hidden demand right there. So, we can draw either demand from around here, from the last bearish candle, or you can draw the demand from there. Personally, I'd probably encompass that. If it's a bearish candle and then an outside candle, probably draw it from the last bearish candle. But if, it's, if this is a bullish candle, then draw it from the outside candles, open price to the swing low. Let me keep going. We keep going, there we are. Demand starts from there to the swing low. Let's keep going, there we are. So again, the outside candle is preceded by a bearish candle. So I'm gonna be drawing that whole area as demand. If this was a bullish candle, then I would be drawing that from there to there. 
let's keep going again as you make higher highs higher lows so we make pull back move higher but that was the high we had a pullback yeah but we didn't make a candlestick that closed bullish yeah and closed above there or the wick was above there so for now this isn't a new high that I would be drawing I have to wait for a bullish candle wick to go above that or close above that that zone there so we get a pull back interesting ah here we go so a nice example of hidden demand so we've got a nice move and then we draw the higher highs higher lows so if the move started from here there get a pullback because that would have been very bearish in real time and then we get to close above so that's higher high higher low that's where the demand is there and that's where the start of the demand is right there so we've got all that going on let's go forward all right we do have higher highs higher lows here so we've got a swing we've got a move there pulls back and then we've got another move fact that was where the candle started with the lowest swing before price made a new high there so you can still draw demand zone there there we are and then we end up in fact breaking through coming down into this lower demand zone here Right, so again, higher highs, higher lows. Low, high, low, high. Yep, so once you see that, if we want to delete all of these off. There, so once we get higher highs, higher lows, we can actually draw it from here. And then what we can do is basically draw it down to maybe where that swing is because otherwise it would encompass all of this. So what makes sense is that you draw it from here and then down to this swing here, or even down to where you've got the origin of that demand zone there. So this is demand, this is demand. We can just draw that all the way down at the lows. Higher, 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 low. But again, what we are understanding is that not every single demand zone is gonna be a strong area of demand and not every single supply zone is going to be a strong area of supply this is just how to draw this so now we get potentially move higher so as prices kind of pull back we've made a new high so that encompasses this as well that's fine keep going there we are there. and as we make a new high there until prices make a new high this doesn't become demand and it did it's a bit of a strange candle but we did make a new high so we'd have to draw it from here to here there is some demand in there prices come back up now until we make a new high again that's the start of the move outside candle but it's the start of it so we need to make higher highs higher lows in order for that to be considered one of the strongest areas of demand nope nope so we can keep drawing it if we want to we can see where it's just literally just kind of just ranging All right so we get 
bit of a pull back loop just above there so we can now start to pull back from here to the swing lows right there so that's where all that demand is as all this would be in that demand zone there we go as you make a new high that was there as prices made higher highs and higher lows into the new year 2018 so plenty of uh, food for thought there and uh, going through the demand zones and really how to understand how to draw demand zones and again this wasn't an exercise in you know um, uh, taking a trade at every single demand zone yeah it's about how to draw and understand where you should be placing your demand zones ident identifying the higher high higher low principle etc and in the uh, next video i'm going to be talking about how to draw supply zones so the lower high lower low principle and i'll go over that so guys take care and don't forget to like subscribe and i'll speak to you soon so if what I'm saying resonates with you, why not check out trading180.com? There is a selection process to trade my supply and demand zone for X strategy. I'm only looking to work with uh, individuals with the right mindset, you know, who are hardworking as well. So um, check that out and access really for less than one pound a day. This Some of the strategies in here are not for beginners. So if you don't know what supply and demand is, please check out all of my supply and demand videos. I have hundreds of videos on YouTube, so you can check that out first. Um, guys, take care and until the next video, have a good one.